Hello and thank you for tuning in to the MacDesk Floor Report for Tuesday, November 22nd. I'm Rebecca Darst from the MacDesk coming to you from the trading floor. Speaking in advance of what turned out to be a particularly nasty sell-off on the street yesterday, our colleague Art Cashin of UBS pointed to 1185 as a key support level to watch in the S&P. So while markets melted away for much of the day on a mixture of concerns over European sovereign debt and U.S. fiscal policy deadlock, that 1185 level was tested repeatedly. And after dipping as low as 1183 briefly, the index bounced off of that support level and we closed well off the lows of the day yesterday. So there's a bit of glass half full for you. This morning, we saw little in the way of bargain hunters to lift the futures, and the revised Q3 GDP figure didn't help matters much. Uh, analysts, by and large, were expecting a growth reading of 2.5% growth, uh, which would indicate no change from the preliminary estimate. And even though the GDP deflator uh, came out unchanged, uh, that wasn't much. Uh, there wasn't much in the good way in the way of good news for the bulls. Instead, we had a modestly lower revision of two percent, which put some pressure on the futures. Although in the first half hour of trade, we once again saw major indices defend key support levels. We're actually in slightly positive territory in the S&P right now, uh, with, and with the Dow down just 13 points. From a technical standpoint, the S&P will be looking at resistance at the 150-month moving average of 1197 with support remaining unchanged from yesterday's 1183 to 1185 range. Commodities are higher across the board, with crude oil trading higher in part due to escalating Middle East demonstrations. Gold is higher as well by about 1% at uh, $1,700 per ounce, and the Eurodollar currency cross is holding steady uh, right around 135. That's roughly in line with its 10-day moving average. Implied volatility in the S&P has come off quite a bit today. We probed the 35 area in the VIX yesterday as the market hit its lows of the session, but settled off the highs. Today, the VIX is down about 2.5% right at the 32 line. And while we're seeing some buying interest in SPY puts this morning, much of the action so far anyway has been in the weekly expiring contract that provides downside protection only through this Friday. So overall, we're seeing confirmation everywhere, very short-term positioning by market participants and a desire to remain nimble and liquid with so much macroeconomic certainty clouding the horizon. For additional market insights, be sure to check your inboxes at 1 p.m. for the midday. In the meantime, all of us here on the MacDesk wish you a happy and healthy Thanksgiving, and we'll be back on the floor for an abbreviated trading session on Black Friday.